What's up guys, so today I'm just going to be showing you how to open your NAT type on Xbox and PS3. Uh, these are two different methods, one is a permanent solution, one is a temporary solution. Uh, the temporary solution will work for Xbox and PS3, but the permanent I'm not too sure about the Xbox as I've never owned one and don't know the menu, like the layout. Um, so first of all, the temporary solution is to get Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, insert that into your console, Get into multiplayer, uh, the men multiplayer menu where you can create a class and it will actually tell you your NAT type is open. Once you've done that, remove the disc, exit the game and stick in Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops or Black Ops 2, uh, whichever game you're playing. And from then on, your NAT type will be open. Now that will last anywhere from a day up to a week. I'm not too sure. On average, I did it three times and it lasted for about a day. So um, if you're doing a long gaming session, that's probably your best uh, option. But if you want it open all the time, like I do, um, and connect to games easier and party up with friends and have no difficulty communicating, then it's definitely the way to go. So um, it is a great help, so I do recommend trying to get it open, and now I'll show you the permanent solution. So what you want to do with your PS3 is go to Network Settings, go to Internet Connection Settings, and click OK. Now you have to have your internet um, cord plugged in if you're using a wired connection. Oops, no, sorry, don't go easy. Uh, go down to custom, click wired if you're wired. If you're wireless, just any your wireless settings and follow everything else I do. Uh, auto detect, manual. All right, so right here is um, pretty much the most technical part. If sorry, the most the second most technical part um, to get your default default router, go to your computer search bar, click type in CMD like this, bring this up and type in IP config. Now scroll down just a little bit and right there you'll see the uh, your default gateway which is actually your IP address. Now enter that in under default router, mine's 192.168.1.1 under your IP address, put the same number in, except change the last number from anywhere from 50 to 150. I've chosen 100 just to make it easy. Subnet mask will always be 255.22, sorry, .255.255.0. Now for your primary DNS and your secondary DNS, you need to go into Google and basically type in um, your default gateway, which is your IP address, into the search bar at the top. Um, it'll ask you then for some login details. Once you've entered them, then go on and it'll tell you primary and secondary DNS on the opening page. Usually, if you've never done this before, your username and password be, will be admin and admin. So once you've done that, <coughs> sorry, once you've done that, um, enter those numbers there and you're good to go. Head over across, hit automatic, proxy server do not use. UPnP, Universal Plug and Play, uh, Enable, and there you go. Now hit Enter and Test Connection. Okay guys, so once you've done that and that's all good, uh, now it's time to head over the computer. Now unfortunately I don't have fraps or anything like that so I can't um, show you the steps from here. But the link in the description, portforting.com, click on that and head over there. Now this website is super helpful and pretty much self-explanatory so you shouldn't need any on-screen um, visual how to do. Now what you want to do is you want to click on that link, head over there and enter your modem brand and then your modem model. Now to find them out look on the bottom of your modem or the box or something like that, it's not that hard to find and uh, once you've done that enter them go down to black ops 2 or just simply look in the description I've put the ports in there for black ops 2 and um, once you've done that um, and you've picked your modem basically just follow the steps that it shows you uh, portforting.com pretty much has every modem you'll ever find and it works it worked for me and it will work for you just follow everything it says and um, this is a lot easier way than me trying to explain for me for my one modem because I know everyone out there probably has a different modem. So if you just follow the steps to that and enter all your ports, you should successfully open your ports. Then once you've done that, restart your modem and your console and you should be good to go. Now once you've done all that, you'll have an open NAT type for Black Ops 2. If you don't or have any questions, leave them in the comment section as well as letting me know how the video was and if it did help you. Hit the like button if it did, I really appreciate that. 
and subscribe for more videos. Hope you enjoyed and thanks a lot for watching.